How y'all doing? Sure, I'm good. I just wanted to hop on here because y'all in there saying that I'm not happy about children. I'm very much pro-life and I'm very happy about children. What I'm not happy with is when you young ladies get pregnant and then do, ha, you can't leave me, I'm pregnant. Oh my God, I got you. Like a really good person would never use a child to antagonize somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the test for me. Like you gonna even use your five day, possibly two weeks of pregnancy to do ha. Like why not wait? If y'all just got into it and y'all just broke up and you really, really a good God fearing, good God hearted person. Why not wait until y'all, you know, until this blows over and y'all on good speaking terms to be like, you know, I know we've been going through some stuff, but unfortunately X, Y, and Z and do a hat. I caught you. Like we know you didn't, but it's just given like, that's what you would do if you, if you got pregnant, you know what I'm saying? Like Pregnancy and childbearing is a beautiful, beautiful thing. Why would you want to destroy your time of telling your baby daddy that you think your baby daddy, that you pregnant in such a way as that? Why would you do lick your tongue out and say, ha ha, I'm pregnant. If you just a good person and that's just the most beautiful moment in your life, whether you have the child's father or not, why would you play your child out like that? And he ain't, he or she ain't even got limbs, arms, nothing yet. Why would you use your child for such a thing as that? Now that's what people having a problem with y'all. Cause y'all think that type of stuff is funny and cute for a child to go all his days longing for a father that's scared of a black woman, a black mother, that he to, to the point where he don't even be involved or go see a child or won't even claim a child because that's a scary thing for a woman to use at such a time as that. And y'all get on here and y'all laugh like something that, it ain't just her that's 5150, it's y'all too. Y'all that thought that that moment, that most gracious, beautiful moment that only God can give, that that's what you would want to do with it. That's what you, that's how y'all saw her. Did you see how Jaden planned that day out? She could barely wait. Javon was so excited. They were so excited to, to let daddy know, we're going to share you with another human being and we're okay with that. And they sat around the Christmas tree and they were so happy. Jaden had tears in her eyes and, and, and Javon was so happy to tell his daddy that. Why wouldn't you wait so that your moment was everlasting? I know, I know God fearing people and I know people that love God. And I'm not saying she don't think she do, but you don't take your most prized moments and possessions and go, ha, I caught you. Like it's not, it's, that was just such a moment, even if it was true. And, and I was having another grandchild, like, you know, by somebody that that's just not how you want to your moment. You only get one moment to describe what type of mother you want to be, how much you want to love a child. And that's what y'all thought was cute for her to take and do with that moment. That right there. Ha! I caught you. You can't go nowhere. This is why black men scared of black women. This is why our children are fatherless. This is why they don't want to come around and take care of them kids because they scared of them. They scared of the baby mamas. This is why your baby daddy don't come by to see your kid. This is why you got to run up and drop them off at the porch and run. Because you do things like that. You do things like that. And then all the people that supported that moment. That's, this is why your baby daddy don't come see your child. Why you got to beg for Pampers. Why you got to beg for him to come kick it with his own kid. Share his own kid with the world. This is why y'all baby daddies are not happy with y'all. You know, Jonathan's father told me one day at a football game, I'm so grateful that you're my son's mother. I'm so grateful. You know why? Because he knows that in every single moment of that child's life, I was going to dedicate my life to making sure that he was great, to making sure that he was righteous, to making sure that he was a good person, to making sure that he could read and he could write, making sure that he would be a good father. That's why. And you black women running around here going, ha! I caught you. You can't go nowhere. You ain't going to never see no baby daddy. He ain't going to care about them kids. And this is why so many of the black kids is running around with fathers. Because his baby mama's running them off and scaring them to death like that. Now, who want to be your baby daddy? And that's how you tell them you're pregnant. 
Then you want to know still when your six-year-old can't talk to his dad. Why? Because he's scared to call your phone. Because he's scared to come around your new man. Because he's scared to come to your house because it's so filthy and trifling and dirty that he can't even imagine his child going to sleep in it. Shame on you. Shame on all of you who thought that was cute. Even for her child. This is what y'all want for her. I hope you're listening, Miss Rock, because these people don't like you, they don't love you, and they couldn't give a damn about you. Your sister over there buying baby gifts and you ain't five days pregnant. They playing with you, girl. They playing with your livelihood and they playing with your life. And I pray to God, whoever's child that is, that that child do not be played with by you people. And I hope she wake up and see what type of people y'all really is when her baby daddy won't even drop off a pair of pampers, have somebody else to do it because he's scared to even be near her or look at her filthy, dirty house. Instead of y'all telling her, no, ma'am, wait until things cool off and calm down. Wait until things are okay so that you don't ruin your moment to tell your child's father so that he can be proud to have you as a mother. You want to scare the man off. I don't care if she had nine abortions. If you finally pregnant and God has finally blessed you with the gift of your dreams of your life, and you're going to have it and you're going to raise it and you're going to teach it how to be good and happy and God-fearing, that is not how you bring a child into this world. By running off the child's possibly father. That's not how you do that. And she running around here listening to y'all and, and her family over there buying baby clothes at five days old. Five days pregnant. Possibly at the most 30. Whatever it is. Y'all over there laughing at her and making fun of her. Y'all don't really give a damn about that poor girl. But everybody's going to get their reward. So, and you know what else? This is why celebrities don't reach back and help nobody else. Y'all are the reason they don't pull nobody else up. Because this is how y'all train people to go. That's that y'all are really y'all are really sad. And I pray to God she's not listening to y'all or following y'all or giving a damn about what y'all think or say. You're worthless. Your thoughts are worthless. Your life is worthless. You're worthless. You imagine your gift from God. And that's how you want to tell the people. Anybody laughing at you right now, buying baby clothes right now, doing weird stuff to you right now. And God ain't even fully gave you no child yet. And y'all playing with it like that. You need, to, you need to look at each one of them people that's doing that to you. And you need to remember them faces. That's capitalizing, trying to capitalize off of you and your child like it's a game and it's a joke. You already let people play with your kids. Laughing about killing kids. You already letting people play with your kids. This audience is more important than how you tell your supposedly child's father. You finna bring a child into this world. This how you black women, all of you women, but mostly you black women, scare these fathers off. This is exactly how. This is why you ain't got no baby daddy. I'm talking to every woman who don't get that pickup or that drop off that my daughter getting every Friday and every Sunday. This is why you don't get that. Because I would never, ever tell her to get on there until things were cooled down and calmed down and there was some peace about. You want to tell things and do things when you're dealing with your children in peace. You don't want to be playing with no baby and it ain't even here yet. Now this world laughing at your child. Now if it come out weird, everything it do and say, they finna be laughing at your damn baby. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. And everybody who went out and even laughed at her and bought a pair of clothes, you ought to be shamed too. Just shame. Y'all playing with her. And you know she done just announced she ain't all together there. And y'all want to be playing with somebody. Girl, you better look at these people and the people around you because that was not cute and it was not funny. You can tag the Lord Jesus. I'm telling you the truth. When you get ready to announce that your child is here, you sit and you pray over that announcement. You sit and pray over that test. You don't do, ha, I caught you. And then make the child some type of ping pong in a goddamn pond for the internet. Now, why would you do that to a newborn baby who ain't did nothing to nobody? I'm not mad at nobody but y'all. 
and people who jump on here thinking it's cute to be laughing at her and her situation after she just told y'all she having a mental problem. And y'all laughing after y'all family done told y'all have, she having a mental problem and laughing and going and buying baby clothes. Instead of saying, sis, hold on, let's wait till you and the love that you say of your life Calm down, y'all just had a fight. Let's tell him on happy terms. Let's plan a celebration announcement. You don't ruin the whole announcement of whatever is going on in your life. I don't know what it is. It ain't my problem to know. But you don't let these people to convince you to hop on here walking down the hall looking like Sybil, talking about you fixing to have a baby. And they sitting up laughing at you, making, making it a game and a joke with playing with, with, with what could possibly be after you say you done killed two or three, possibly a gift. This what you let them do with your gift. Y'all, something ain't right with y'all. That wasn't funny, it wasn't cute. And this how y'all running y'all baby daddies off. This why don't nobody want, this why, this why Tiffany at the front door and daddy don't never show up. You, you, you women did this to y'all baby daddies. This why they don't come, pick them up, don't do none of that shit. This why. I'm not answering no more of you yellow buses that would have did would have jumped around the hospital looking like a, looking like Sybil talking about ha I caught a man and a bit with a baby. I'm not talking to y'all no more. Y'all not getting no more of my time because y'all not learning a goddamn thing. She can't she can't get none of that from me. Mm mm. No ma'am. I'm sorry. No, ma'am. That's just too dangerous. That right there is too dangerous. I'm too old for that, and I ain't got time for it. You do it. Get get one of y'all get one of y'all family members to do it. Right. Already talking about a big baby shower because Jaden had a big baby shower. Instead of just saying, like you got you on this moment. Enjoy this moment. Y'all robbing her of what could possibly be a moment or enhancing a lie that you know God may never give you for playing or lying like this. This is not like a game. It's a human being. It's a person. You done already made it a pawn. I didn't rebuke her, baby. I rebuked anything that got that. that I, I rebuked half. You caught my child. I rebuked having to be a part of such shenanigans for, for however many years. I rebuked that. You goddamn right I did. You motherfuckers don't scare me. Jealous of what? I had my babies. Jealous of what? I got six grandbabies. Why would I be jealous? I would love a donkey if it came in this world peacefully. But you're not going to get nobody to pull up, visit, drop off no diapers, nothing. They're going to throw something on the porch and keep it pushing. Y'all scaring these baby daddies off with that. That's not even a good example for y'all to be reposting for other mothers and other young mothers to think that it's funny that they caught somebody and just ruined their own damn life. Mm -mm. Don't you ain't got to look for my baby daddies, honey. I was the catch. I was <laughs> I was the catch. You can best believe that. I wasn't running around talking about hat. I caught nobody. A child is a gift. You don't sit around and use it as a pawn. And even if I was in a bad situation with a baby, I wouldn't use it as a pawn for something to go wrong and y'all to be laughing at the baby later. And I rebuke anything if she is pregnant happening, but I'm just saying, y'all 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 be doing some weird stuff. And now she got to carry this 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 uh this burden around with y'all hoping and praying the whole time cuz y'all laughing at her and she ain't even 5 days pregnant. So Miss Krishan, baby girl, your family, all these people laughing buying clothes and and you ain't even 5 days pregnant. That far as I knew back, that wasn't even good luck. So them making a game and a joke out of something that's supposed to be the most important thing in your life, you need to reevaluate your surroundings and yourself. Because you do not jump on the internet with your most prized gift running around like Sybil through a hospital and, and, and not wait until everything is calm so you can have a good moment to share with whomever that child's father is. That was a moment for you. And you ruined it. You destroyed the child's moment. Forever and ever, whomever this child's father is, is always going to fit. You're going to have to work to make that person accept and love that child because you ruined it for whomever it belongs to. 
You've completely and totally ruined that child coming into the world. Why would you do that? Why would anyone do that? Happy birthday. You my baby daddy. This why this why they don't this why they don't come back and pull up and help y'all. This why nobody likes y'all. This why nobody don't pull nobody else up. Cause this how they gonna remember you. When she get her head together, and y'all supposed to be her fans, and she realized what y'all did, laughing at her and thinking it's funny that she just one day said she was having mental health problems, and then the next day y'all laughing at her baby supposed to be pregnant five days, buying it clothes and and laughing like, ha, you caught him. Like she's supposed to be the catch, not him. That ain't supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be a happy, glorious moment. Y'all rob that. And this is why people don't like y'all. This is why don't nobody reach back. This is why don't nobody talk to y'all but me. This why. Yes, children are supposed to be made out of love, not crazy hip hop story. Exactly. Now he, you want him to have kids that he can't bring around another set of kids because your house dirty, because your child ain't right, and you over here doing all of this. If that's you, what you want to do, you want to step your game up, not by making the internet laugh. That ain't funny. Then you team rock, you tell her the way she announced that child coming into the world was 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 despicable. Despicable. Unbelievable. And whoever was with her, you that's the first person you need to look at. The first person that lets you post some mess like that instead of saying, look, Rock Baby, I know you had a problem. You just announced to the world you had mental health. You and Blue is in a different place right now. The show's over. He got the bag. He's ready to go home. Y'all in a different place now. You should have waited and said, you know what? I'm going to announce this bundle of joy at a more peaceful time. And that person that did that video laughing at you, that's the first person I want you to look at. That's the first person you need to look at. The person who let you, the person who videoed you running through that hospital looking like Sybil. That's the first person you need to look at. And then look at all these people in here that's supposed to be Team Rock. That's telling you, ha ha, you caught them. When, they, when you were supposed to be the catch. I'm invested in everybody. I'm invested in y'all and her. I'm invested into all the black mothers right now who think this is how you go tell your baby daddy that you fighting with you pregnant. No, ma'am. Y'all going through something, you wait. Now you need to re-strategize. You need to get yourself together. Find a peaceful place between you and him so that this child is not announced into sin, not announced into hate, not announced and don't be wanted. That's not how you do that. So whoever told you to do that, them the people you need to start looking at. I know you already got common sense enough to know that these fans is, uh, need medication too. I know you know that. We all might need some medication. I don't mean that in no type of way. I'm just saying there's a lot of y'all who thought that was cute that I know you know better. And I know you know you wouldn't tell your baby daddy that that's how you pregnant. You were supposed to go get some of his favorite wine or champagne. Maybe buy him a watch. You were supposed to, you know, roll the carpet out. You a celebrity. You walking around a hospital in a 1970s jogging suit, laughing and giggling, and it's supposed to be a moment for you. You were supposed to do that under a candlelit dinner or something, where you done cleaned up the house for the first time. Stop letting these people ruin your life. You over here worrying about my weave, and I'm giving you a message, and I know you sitting over here with three kids and no baby daddy. I already know. I already know. I be looking on y'all pages going, mm, 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 mm. Because ain't no, ain't no way you got time to be following Rock's life and laughing at, at stupid stuff. Ain't no way. Girl, if you was dealing with this, you would need therapy too. Just trust me when I tell you. It wouldn't matter to me, just like it wouldn't matter if they didn't bring the other caring kids around me. I go get my neighbor's kids. I play with kids at the park. It don't have to be my child for me to love it. 
Okay, you remember that about me. They don't have to be my grandchildren to love them. So they ain't never, my, my biologicals ain't never got to drop no kids off. But Jaden and John just dropped them off last week. And I did babysit them. And I will, all that door will always be open for my grandkids. But if they don't come through that door, baby, guess what? I got a lot of friends with a lot of grandkids that I know. There's a lot of kids who need love in this world. They don't never got to be my own. Let's get that together right now. I wouldn't care if, if they had, I, I would care if they had more than one baby mama that would crush my heart, that would crush my heart and my soul if, if they didn't do what I told them to do. Crush my heart and my soul, but I would still be there for them. And, and if they brought one home that was, didn't belong to theirs and, and it would belong to the other ones, it would be mine too. But don't do the nana and the boo boo with a whole child, y'all. Y'all running these men off. No wonder why you ain't got no baby daddies and, and these celebrities ain't paying their child support bills. They hate y'all. They can't, they can't stand this mess. They doing it on purpose. They not, 50 Cent ain't just not giving that boy mama no money just because. They just don't like y'all. Y'all running around going, ha, I'm pregnant by you. You can't leave. What you thought that was going to do? But, but get you a, a postcard to meet at the police station to pick up your baby. Ain't no same person about to let you come drop no baby off where they live at with their other kids. Come on now. That was not how you did that. that. That person who took you to that hospital and had you announce that baby like that, you need to cancel that person. They didn't mean you no good. I'm telling you the truth as a friend, as a woman. That person who told let you announce your baby like that is the person that you need to get the hell away from.